Hello guys and uh, welcome back. <clears throat> today I have a video for you where I recorded a round I uh, played earlier today and I'm gonna kind of explain some of the things I did and why I did those things. Um, the loadout I'm using is Ambassador because I feel as though it's tied with the Enforcer for the strongest revolver but the Ambassador has more versatility at the cost of just straight power. Uh, I'm using the default knife because I feel as though it best complements the watch I'm using, which is the Dead Ringer. And I'm using the Dead Ringer because uh, I think it's my favorite watch at this point, and it just allows me to survive for absurdly long periods of time. So without further ado, let's get into the video section. The first thing I do is uh, throw up a friendly disguise here for obvious reasons. And uh, I'm getting a bit of lag there, just kind of ignoring that. But uh, I see the power's on the point. I'll let him push it a bit because uh, I see there's three people on the red point and so I just kinda do a blind jump and uh, actually do pretty well. I get a soldier and a medic and I almost get that other soldier uh, DR it off. That's the reason I like it. Uh, <laughs> and then I just run back in as a medic. He doesn't even see me so it doesn't matter. Get him anyways. And then die to a soldier halfway across a map. Not sure how that happened. I was trying to DR and get close to the car for some health, but I uh, guess that didn't work. It's alright though, I cleared their entire team and my team's pushing, so, you know, I'm cool with it. <clears throat> Quick respawn, friendly disguise as always. Uh, usually I do sniper for some reason, because it's somewhat of a small game and, you know, I don't really like disguising as a pyro. Uh, because if I light on fire, it's pretty obvious. Uh, I see that soldier over there, he sees me, so I just take the fall damage cloak, because I don't know what else to do. Disguise as a medic, I see a uh, combo running off to the other side, pick up some ammo, and then I just blindly jump through the window. Probably not my best idea, but by some stroke of luck it works, and I get the medic. And then that spy messes me up, which is uh, actually pretty good for me because Spy is one of my favorite disguises and I didn't know they had a Spy or not so I was kind of avoiding it. Uh, I tried to jump off, kill those two soldiers. It doesn't even work at all. I, I just completely failed. DR it off and just try again. Um, here I pick up some ammo and some health so that I can so that I can do it again but by the time I get back they're too far for me to do anything. Uh, I start to run off and see that the combo has it covered, so I'm just going to go see if I can pick anybody off that's uh, running towards the cart. Um, you know, I get a pretty lucky stab there, and uh, yeah, I pick up some health ammo, and I see a pyro over there. Uh, you probably have to rewind to see it. I'm not sure if he's a spy, so I check. Uh, he is. So I just shoot wildly at him, and I'm, at that point I'm trying to save the heavy, but he's too retarded. Um, get the backstab. You know, whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure their whole team's dead, so I try to push the cart, but there's two soldiers there, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, get an easy stab on one and then die to the other, but he kills himself, so, you know, we're looking at a deadlock here. Nobody's really pushing. That spy can't jump over a wall. Uh, whatever. As always, friendly disguise. Um, <clears throat> I see a spy over there, but he's kind of far for me to do anything, so I just kind of see what I can do up here. That soldier starts shooting at him, at me, and, uh, you know, whatever. Kill him. Same way that I did at the beginning. <laughs> uh, see a sentry over there, and that spy freaks me the hell out, and he's just sitting there stabbing me still, so. Uh, it, I can, he's kind of newbie, I think, but, uh, you know, maybe he should watch my guides. Um, I try to push the cart, but it seems every time I do, there's a, a soldier there, which is kind of annoying. Uh, that pyro is actually a spy back there. And I just run in and see what I can do. Uh, I think I can get that soldier, but then he starts doing some weird stuff. Up until this point, I didn't even know you could get up there, so I'm just trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to stop him, because I know as long as he's up there, there's no way he's going to push. Uh, I try jumping up, and I try shooting him. It doesn't work. Just get backstabbed. Uh, 
uh, but now I know that you can do that. And uh, probably not gonna need to headshot the next time I see that. That's probably how you do that, right? Yeah. Ah, soldier medic combo pushing the cart. Things looking pretty grim. And, uh, I'm not sure exactly what to do right now. I know if I go straight in there, I'll just get rocketed, so I run off to the side and headshot him. I kind of freak out there when I see 112 instead of 1 2, but I guess he's using the pain train. Uh, stop that push, and that's the reason why I like the ambassadors, because I killed that guy from the entire map away. Um, I try to push this here. And I figure that soldier's kind of retarded, so I don't DR my death. Which is a poor decision on my part, but, you know. What are you going to do? Uh, we're putting out some good D here. You know, we have to get that our card up without them pushing their card up. Kind of annoying. Uh, I see a sentry over there, and I shoot it. And... Not sure exactly what that sniper was doing. He was trying to figure out what the hell I was doing. I don't know. Somebody explain it to me because I really don't know. <laughs> um, let's see. I see that medic and I'm going to go for the most epic blind stab ever. And I fail miserably. But I just shoot him twice. And, uh, you know, that's what I was planning the entire time. <laughs> I was going to shoot him in the back with the ambassador. Uh, hit that sentry, and apparently his, uh, or I hit that NG, totally miss, and apparently his sentry is up, so I, uh, I go and sap that. I know he can't do anything, because, you know, he's dead. And I get another headshot, and save that point again, which is, uh, once again the reason I use this gun. Um, I see that medic, and I think he's gonna jump on it, so I jump after him, miss, and then redeem myself. Um, at this point, somebody's knocking on my door, and it ends up being my, um, little cousin, who's giving us invitations to a birthday party, so, uh, probably fast forward here. And continuing on, um, I throw up a friendly disguise here to, uh, push the cart with the DR out, just maybe a little bit. Uh, decide against it, and I actually see an engineer pass through the door there, so throw up an enemy disguise and just wait for him. Get an easy stab. Hooray. Um, at that point, I'm gonna help that pyro, but obviously he doesn't need my help. And, uh, that was actually kind of impressive. Not sure how he did that. Probably something to do with the, the uh, back burner, but, uh, I jump onto the point and I push it a bit. Uh, I'm expecting to get shot at any second here, but a scout comes over and helps me push, so I put my DR down so I can uh, push a bit longer. DR spies are actually really good at pushing the cart here, because they can just kind of avoid any damage and just uncloak instantly and get their cloak back. Uh, trying to backstab that guy, just fail miserably. Take a DR. I see they're pushing their cart. You know, I grab my ammo and health and I jump off and... Uh, kill her heavy and then die to a sentry. I'm not exactly sure how that got up there without me noticing since I just killed it, but uh, you know, whatever. Um, you know, we end up losing, but it was pretty tight and I played pretty well, so, you know, I'm happy about it. And, uh, you know, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I never really was on your side.